Hello, I'm Jonathan Dunsky, author of The Adam Lapid Mysteries. On this channel, I often talk about books that I read and enjoyed. And today, I want to tell you about Chiefs by Stuart Woods. Stuart Woods was a highly prolific writer of crime fiction. He published dozens upon dozens of novels. Chiefs was his first published novel. It came out in 1981, and it's a remarkable work of historical fiction and uh, of crime fiction as well. Chiefs uh, takes place in a fictional town in Georgia called Delano, and the plot spans roughly 45 years of events and occurrences, and it follows uh, the professional life of three chiefs of police in that town. The book is divided into three parts, each of which uh, has enough story in it uh, for a regular book, and each part focuses on the work of one of three chiefs of police in Delano, the first in the 1920s, the second in the 1940s, and the third and last in the 1960s. So you not only uh, get a, a crime story that proceeds throughout these uh, roughly 45 years, you also get uh, a historical journey through uh, life in that town in Delano in the south of the United States. The story begins in 1919 when a failed farmer by the name of Will Henry Lee applies to be the chief of police in the small town of Delano. He doesn't have any uh, police experience, but you don't really need a lot of experience in a town the size of Delano at the time, and he is... Uh, and he is a, a hardworking man, an honest man, and he gets the job when he is recommended by a, a man called Hugh Holmes. Hugh Holmes is a local banker and one of the founders of the town of Delano, and he recommends Will Henry Lee for the job, so he becomes chief. Uh, Hugh Holmes, by the way, is a character that appears throughout the book, um, and he's an interesting character, a very sort of uh, uh, like a founding father of, of, of the town and someone to whom Delano is of the utmost importance. The town itself is sort of like a life project to Hugh Holmes. So Will Henry Lee takes the job and begins working as chief of police. And he, he does a fairly good job, even though he doesn't have any experience. And a while after he begins... Uh, his, his job as chief of police, the body of a young man is discovered uh, in Delano. The man has been uh, beaten to death and he has also been sexually molested. So, um, Will Henry Lee begins his uh, investigation, but he is unable to discover who murdered the man. A while later, the body of a second man, second young man, is discovered in the vicinity of, of the town, and there are some similarities between the uh, the, the bodies and what, and what was done to them. So Will Henry Lee begins to suspect that there is a serial killer operating in Delano or uh, in its immediate surroundings, and he tries to uh, discover who who it is. Now, so you this is the beginning of of the of the mystery that will follow. Uh, that will continue throughout the book. But we, as, as, as the reader, we know from fairly early on who this serial killer is. Chiefs is not a story in which we uh, try to learn who the murderer is. It's a story in which we uh, just want to know how this killer will end up getting caught and punished for his crimes. So Will Henry Lee is... Uh, tries to solve the case and is unable. The, at some point uh, in the book, the, the plot jumps forward uh, about 20 years to the end, uh, right after the end of the Second World War, when veterans begin returning to the United States from overseas. And one of these veterans is a man by the name of Sonny Butts. And upon his return to Delano, he becomes a police officer. And soon after, he uh, assumes the role of chief of police. So he is the second chief. And Sonny Butts is not as good of a man uh, as uh, Will Lee was. He is uh, a, 
He is very racist toward black people and he is also prone to violence. Um, and these two uh, mix into, and, his, and given his authority as chief of police, he does some truly horrendous things given these two uh, bad attributes. Uh, Will Henry Lee, when he was chief, he, he, he kept a file on missing uh, young men and, upon, and on the, the two bodies that were found. And Sonny Butts discovers this file and he sort of picks up where Will Henry Lee left off and tries to continue and continues working the investigation and hopes to discover who this serial killer is because he apparently there are other uh, um, missing, missing men, missing young men that uh, Sonny Butts suspect may have fallen victim to the same serial killer as the one who has been operating in the 1920s. The third chief of police, uh, and he becomes chief of police in the 1960s, is a man by the name of Tucker Watts. Tucker Watts is a black man, and he uh, gets the job, or he applies for the job, with the support of a man called Billy Lee, Billy Lee is the son of Will Henry Lee, the first chief of the three in the book. And in, in, the, in the time that has passed since his father uh, stopped being chief, uh, Billy Lee has fought valent, uh, valiantly in, in the Second World War, and he has become a politician, uh, so far a local politician in Georgia, and he uh, recommends or endorses the appointment of Tucker Watts for chief of police. This causes an uproar because Tucker Watts is black and he, if he becomes chief, he will be the first uh, black chief of police, not only in Delano, but uh, in the entire state of Georgia and perhaps even the entire South. I don't remember exactly which. And Hugh Holmes also supports uh, Tucker Watts getting the job as chief of police because he has experience as uh, I believe he was a uh, uh, a mil he was in military police, so he is quite qualified for the job. So throughout chiefs, we don't just get the story of the three chiefs of police as each of them investigates uh, the murder and, and, and or and disappearance and possible murder of uh, a large number of young men who have either passed through Delano or disappeared in its midi surroundings. We also get the story of a town and of a society that develops from the 1920s all the way to the mid-1960s with all the social changes that uh, America experienced at the time. In particular, the uh, relations between white Americans and black Americans, the, uh, the racism that existed uh, against black people, and the way that uh, societal norms and, and, and opinions and attitudes changed with time and history. There are some harrowing moments in Chiefs relating to uh, this racism and, and the cruelty that uh, black people suffered because of it. Uh, and we also get the story of a lot of different characters as they mature and change and develop. And so this is not just a crime story. I, I don't think it's even particularly a crime story. I think uh, first and foremost, it's just a remarkable piece of historical fiction that shows a town changing with time, changing with uh, different attitudes and laws, and, and just swept along in history. It's a remarkable book, not a short book, because it is made up of basically, like I said, three separate books just with uh, a connecting plot line. But it's, it's a book that you can read fairly quickly because the story is so fascinating and, and riveting that you just find yourself turning the pages over and over and very quickly. Uh, I read this book a number of years ago and I still remember parts of it quite clearly, so it has made a lasting impression on my mind. And I think that if you read it, uh, I'm pretty sure that you will uh, enjoy it too. It has quite an impact. Chiefs was quite a successful book at the time. 
Um, so successful that a TV miniseries or a TV movie was made based on the book in the early 1980s. I believe it starred uh, Charleston Heston. I, I never watched the, uh, the TV movie, uh, but I understand it was quite good. It was quite popular at the time. Uh, apart from Chiefs, Stuart Woods uh, went on to write, as I said, a lot of other crime novels. I read just one of them. And uh, I think it was the first one in his uh, Stone Barrington series, I believe. And I remember almost nothing about it. So it did not make a lasting impression like Chiefs did. So Chiefs is a terrific historical uh, novel and one that I uh, still think about from time to time and that I very much enjoyed. So check it out if you're in the mood for something, uh, you know, a meaty historical novel. You can find links in the description below to where you can find a copy of the book. And let me know in the comments if you read Chiefs, if you uh, watched the TV uh, movie based on it, or if you read any other Stuart Woods novels that you can recommend. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.